All right, so this um, last set of video, or this last video in this set, I should say, uses identities to solve trig equations. So on this domain, we're gonna find exact solutions for, and then this mess of an equation. Um, one thing that I'm noticing is that I have a cosine something, cosine something, and then sine something with a sine something. And maybe if I write it like this, I need to go back to my sum and difference formulas and see what that is equivalent to. So let me go find that. And so if you look here, sine alpha minus beta, sine plus alpha plus beta. No, those ones have sines and cosines together. But if you come down here, ha, right here. So cosine alpha minus beta is that. So let's go back into these notes. So this is going to be cosine of u minus v where in this case I'm saying u equals x and v equals 2x. So that would be the cosine of x minus 2x equals square root of 3 over 2. Well, I could combine like terms in here. And remember, cosine is an even function. So the cosine of negative x is the same as the cosine of x. And so that's going to happen in two quadrants. Um, if I need cosine to be root 3 over 2, it's going to be the 30, 60, 90 with the bigger base. So x is equal to pi over 6. And then again down here in quadrant 4, so that would be 11 pi over 6 as my answer. All right, let's look at another one. So this one has a cosine in it and a sine squared. That seems really yucky. So the first thing I'm thinking is let's get this into maybe like a cosine squared and cosine situation and then solve it like a quadratic. So that's going to be 3 cosine t plus 3 equals 2, and then sine squared is going to be replaced with 1 minus cosine squared. Remember, sine squared plus cosine squared is 1, so if I subtract this over, sine squared equals 1 minus cosine squared, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and distribute out the 2. And then let's add 2 cosine squared over and subtract 1. All right, this looks very similar to the problem that we had in the other question. Um, the only difference, though, is the sign here. Um, let's let x equal cosine t. Let's do that first. So we get 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. And so this is what I'm trying to factor, 2x and x. If I do 1 and 1 where these are all positives, then that ends up being 3. Um, if you need the box method, so two things that multiply to 2 and add to 3 would be 1 and 2. And then you could factor that out. So 2x squared, x, 2x, and 1 gets you your two factors. All right, so 2x plus 1 equals 0, and x plus 1 equals 0. So x is equal to negative 1 half. Remember that's um, sine, cosine, cosine. And x equals negative 1, so I also need to figure out where cosine t is equal to negative 1. Well, cosine being equal to negative 1, that only happens once. Right, so pi is one of my solutions. Um, cosine being negative one half, well, I need the opposite to be one, so it's going to be the tall triangle in quadrant two. So it's going to be t equals two pi over three, 
and then also down here at 4 pi over 3. 